made here. What have you got? A bread. Banana bread. All right, so you are actually famous. Oh. Oh, yum. Thank you. You were actually famous for your banana bread. When we were in Byron, we actually sold our banana bread to a couple cafes. And then when it was our wedding, that was our wedding cake. We made banana bread for everybody. that it was filled with 
that it had gone moldy. Whatever situation you're in, you do not need to worry about tomorrow. God's mercies are anew each morning that he will keep providing today and tomorrow. You need only but trust him. Trust the God that is your eagle that will provide and protect for you. And you don't need to live in this sort of fear mentality of what if What's gonna to happen tomorrow? What if God won't provide for me tomorrow? I, I better do something in my own will, in my own works, in my own ways, because who knows what's gonna to happen tomorrow. But God is the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow, and he's the same God that provided manna from heaven, which means he is the same God that's gonna provide for you, your manna, tomorrow, today. And I think that's what's really encouraging me in this season of my life is to really not fear and not worry about tomorrow, but trust that God is forever gonna be providing my manna for today and tomorrow. So anyway, I wanna share that. I hope that blesses you. And as I've been sort of reading Exodus in, in Portuguese, it's been really helpful to try and like follow along in the story and improve my Portuguese. Yeah, which I've been able to do. I've been able to like read it and go, oh, this is what's happening. I know what's happening.